Welcome back everyone. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be adding a few bug fi fixes and um, we're going to be making sure that our tower, so let me just pull out the reference, our towers can't get placed on top of each other. So now it'll tell us whether or not placing it on it. And if we're not, then we just can place it. So let's get right into it. Um, first, we're gonna add a global script. So let's go here and go to add new folder and we'll say, we'll call it global that's what i like to do and in our global script our folder sorry we'll add a script and call it game and in here i'm going to open this up and we're just going to put a variable called gold and this will be like 100 and then variable health equals 10. and now in our ui let's go here first we have to actually auto load this to make sure it's global so here we'll go to auto load game and add it so now it is now global so we can access these variables for it from anywhere and so to do that we'll add a label we're going to here let's go to theme override font size and make it 100 and we'll say health we'll go to here we'll name it health we'll go to our script we're going to make it built in and we're just going to say self.text equals um health equals plus string game dot health. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna delete all this. I'm gonna copy this. We're gonna go into here, we're gonna control D. I'm gonna rename this to gold. We're gonna make the, we're gonna just remove the script and add it again. And then in here, we'll do, do the exact same thing, except this is gonna be gold. There we go, so now we have gold and health so this will allow us to print our gold and health um so let's try that so let's play start game so now we have gold and health we can separate it as much as you want now but now we have health and gold uh, it doesn't do anything so let's actually implement a few things so first here what we'll do is add a label this will be the gold we'll just print 10 so that'll be the cost of the tower let's turn off this and make it right there and then for here, what we can also do to make it a little prettier is go to the tiles and find our coin. There should be a coin down here. If I can find it, it should be yeah, 275. So we can drag this in, make it a child of this guy. If you don't, there's gonna be an error because remember when we drag and drop things in our panel, um, it deletes the first child so there will be issues if you don't do that so let's drag this downwards a little bit and let's actually make this a bit smaller I'll put that in the corner all right there we go so now we have our cost of our tower um, i believe we can delete this here or not delete it so i just close it and we'll now in our script where we're uh drag and dropping things let's add a few things there's going to be a few different things we're going to add let me just my reference real quick sorry about that um okay so in our tower panel uh the first thing we can do is actually make sure the gold works and we can just do that by saying game dot gold uh minus equals 10. um but first we should probably want to check if we actually have enough gold and we can actually just do that up here so in the very beginning we're going to say if game dot gold is greater than or equal to 10, then we can actually just do any of this. If we don't, there's no point in doing any of this anyways. Okay. Um, uh, what's next? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is in our tower itself. So in the tower, in the red bullet tower, this guy, we're going to have to add a new area. So we're going to duplicate the tower. We're just going to call this tower detector. I'm going to delete this script. We're going to go over here, delete, disconnect these things. And we're going to go to our collision shape and we're going to change it to a rectangle. And we're going to make it slightly bigger than the collision box. And now we have our tower detector. So what this will allow us to do is detect any tower that's in our area. Um, we're also going to go to collision and make sure that this is on layer one, two, and three, and three, why not? Um, we don't have anything on layer threes, but mainly two, one and two, actually, we'll just um, check 
that doesn't matter. So now let's go to our UI, go to these panel scripts. And in here, there is a, let me find it in the reference. So the, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to basically find our, sorry, one second. We're going to basically get a array of targets. So the way we can do this is we can just get the child that we're currently dragging and get the tower get the node tower detector and use the function get overlapping bodies and so if we print this let's see what we get so if i go here and play and i drag and drop if i start to drag it over nothing will happen why is that remember there was a problem with this why what was it let me find out Do okay. I believe what was it? Okay, let's try that one more time. Let's play. So now if I drag and drop, it won't work. Let's see what's wrong with our area In here. Let's take our collision shape and make it a little bigger. Um actually let's go over here. Here and monitor gravity visibility should be fine. Tower detector. Let's make sure we typed this in properly. Uh, so in here, we'll go here. Yeah, I did. Uh, target stock get child one. Get node. Get overlapping bodies. Print targets. Let's try one more time. Okay. Why is that not working? That's very strange. I will be right back and I'm going to figure this out. All right, my apologies. Uh, I just found out why. Um, it is because the process was disabled. So let's actually fix this. Find out if I can actually fix this right now. So in our process here, um, because it inherits, it's going to be disabled because our tower is disabled. So what we can do is just put it on always. So now um, let's go back here. Should be uncommented. So it should still work properly. So now when I drag and drop, it'll now ask for any overlapping layers inside of that tower. So let's put this, let's make this smaller again. Let's make this the size that we want it to be. Uh, there we go. And back here. Now that we have our targets, we have an array of targets um, full of anything that's in our child, in our uh, vicinity, we don't, we can now check to see if anything's in there. Um, so what we can do is say, this is slightly different than the Normal way you would probably want to do it, but uh, we can basically just say, sorry, let me just, my reference is slightly different than the proper way to do this. You know what? Let me just do, do, do. I'll add this part. There we go. So we're going to still check if the tile is correct. If it is, meaning we're on grass, we're all going to check if any uh, towers are in the, in that spot and if there are meaning if it's size is over one or sorry size is over zero then we will make sure that we can't place it there and then so now when i drag and drop and i try dragging on top of it it'll turn red but if i move out it'll turn green right Ooh, sorry about that so now we can check for if we're on the same thing if we're trying to place it. And we can do that by just seeing if the target size uh, is smaller than one. Let me just double check. Do, do, do. Uh, always. Okay, so yeah, now let's try that. Whoops, what's going on here? Uh, targets not declared. Oh, we have to get the target, so that's pretty easy. We can just go here and declare it. Sorry about that. Got a little sniffles. Start game. And so now when I try to place it, it won't place it. But if I place it outside, it will. So that's very cool. So we now can no longer place on top of other towers. All right. Um, I think that is it. No, that is not it. Um, next thing we're going to do is make sure. Okay, so also going to go to our soldier in here. 
And we're going to change a few things in here just so we can actually interact with things. So let me just copy this. Ooh. We're now going to replace the hue free with a function called depth, so it's a bit easier. And if they reach the end of the tunnel, basically, we're just going to delete one health. We're going to subtract one health. If they die, then they're going to die in queue free. But we're also going to add one gold. So we can actually do that before we queue free. So I don't think it makes too much of a difference. But there we go. So now when we play, I can now hopefully it'll kill things. And let's try this. Do, do, do. And it should give me one gold. But if they exit, it'll, yeah, let's see, it'll subtract one there we go and what we can do is in our ui um you can check for if it's under zero then go back to the main menu or have a death screen or whatever you want uh i'll do that and maybe in a later video but for now this is good uh there's one last thing i wanted to do what was it oh never mind i will do the next video uh, hopefully you guys understand what uh how to place the towers and how we can use protector to kind of do that um hopefully you learned a bit of this stuff how to do that um i'm gonna top talk stop talking because i'm blabbering at this point um definitely check out my twitch down below uh join the discord um i also have a page on there check out and a bunch of other stuff in the description uh definitely check it out go comment and like and i will see you guys next time bye bye uh